What's the difference between a financial advisor and a financial planner? Let's cash in. Finance for the everyday millennial. Hard charging solutions. We provide an accelerant in the journey towards financial independence. Welcome back to Cash In With Cash In, the financial forum for young professionals. Today we're going to talk about the difference between financial advisors and financial planners so that you can select the right kind of professional to help you make the most of your money. Let's start with an interesting factoid. Did you know that pretty much anyone can call themselves a financial advisor or financial planner? The job titles sound impressive, but there isn't any kind of national standard that defines what financial advising is. That's why you'll see people advertising their services as a financial consultant or financial coach or my new favorite financial wellness professional. You can't help but wonder who are these people and what do they really know? Here's the deal. Financial titles aren't defined and regulated, which is why a title might not tell you too much. But what is defined and regulated are the types of activities that a financial professional can perform. And that's where you can start to see who has the expertise and can actually help you versus who has a title and a business card and, and not much else. Now, all legitimate financial professionals will have earned some type of license through FINRA or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. FINRA is an independent regulatory body that oversees the brokerage firms and registered brokers and securities professionals working in the U.S. today. A quick way to find out if a financial professional is the real deal is to ask what their CRD number is. The CRD is the Central Registration Depository Database managed by FINRA that lists all firms and individuals involved in the U.S. Securities Agency. If a financial professional has no idea what terms like CRD or FINRA mean, you might not want to trust them with any of your hard-earned money. Let's say that you are able to get recommendations on a few experienced financial professionals to help you out. This is where it can help to know the difference between financial planners and financial advisors. Financial advisors typically focus on investment strategies and wealth building. Financial advisors typically hold the Securities Industry Essentials, or SIE, license. They may also hold a Series 65 license. Financial advisors who have both an SIE license and a Series 65 license are also known as Investment Advisory Representatives, or IRAs. A financial advisor who is a licensed IRA is considered qualified to provide investment-related advice only. A professional who wishes to sell securities or execute trades must earn two more licenses, a Series 7 to sell securities and a Series 63, which allows them to sell securities in a specific state. As you can see, a real financial advisor, someone with actual experience and credentials, is a far cry from a wannabe financial professional calling themselves an advisor. But their professional focus tends to be on finding and selling securities investments. So. What do you do if you're looking for more than just portfolio recommendations? If you want a professional that provides you advice on an array of personal financial issues like setting goals, managing your money long term, choosing insurance products, funding your retirement and estate planning, you need someone who will take a more holistic approach. You need a financial planner. Here's why. Research has shown that individuals who work with a professional financial planner tend to have more confidence in their financial stability. They are more likely to save and build an investment portfolio. Clients of financial planners tend to be more aware of the costs and benefits of personal money management. So they are more likely to pay bills on time, carry little or no bad debt, and know the actual cost of their investment choices. So how do you find a financial planner? Start by looking for someone who has education, experience, and has earned their Certified Financial Planner Credential, or CFP. The CFP designation is considered the gold standard of excellence for financial planning. A planner with this credential has proven that they meet a high set of training and experience requirements, and that they are committed to continuing their education to stay on top of their game. 
A CFP also commits to a set standard requiring them to act as fiduciary. So they put their client's interests first. CFPs who offer planning assistance can charge an hourly fee or an assets under management fee for their services so you can know upfront what each consultation session will cost or what a long-term relationship will cost. Bottom line, check out the licensing, education, and certifications before you hire any financial professional, advisor, or planner. For assistance with all aspects of your financial needs, look for a financial planner with CFP credentials. Ready to do more with your money? Join the Rhino School to gain access to our online community of learning. Click the link you see in the description of this video now. You can also click the red button on your screen to subscribe to this channel, then click the bell icon to receive a notification anytime we post a new video. And until next time, this is Cashin reminding you that it is always a good time to cash in with Cashin.